Hey, good evening everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is my second time making this video because the first time I didn't realize I made a mistake because there was a couple of stock that I picked that was not monthly dividends and it was just there was too many errors within the videos that I, I just need to redo the whole thing again. So uh, yeah, it's Friday night and I want to make this video out because one of the things that uh, this this whole day on Friday, the stock market is just kind of like, at least the the, uh, the stocks that I want to buy, they are very, very low right now. So one of the things that uh, people ask is like, why do you only, you only have three uh, portfolio? You know, so I only have, uh, I mean, three asset in my portfolio. I essentially have Tesla, Clip, and Bitto. Actually, I own a lot more, but I just nuked my entire portfolio a couple of weeks ago so I can make YouTube videos as I'm buying more videos, just like this video right now. And then that's what exactly I'm doing. Now, I don't, I don't buy portfolio, uh, I don't diversify based on risk. So a lot of people think I do, when I buy stocks and stuff like that, I try to diversify my share or my, my risk. It, that is not the way I diversify. I diversify based on payment dates. So let me give you perspective here. So uh, we're gonna go to payment calendar. So I get I average about two thousand three hundred a month, and my annual income is twenty seven thousand. And so out of those three put, uh, assets, Clips pay me the last week, Tesla pay me the uh, second week, and Bitto essentially pay me the first week. So that's how I get it. And the only thing I don't have is some any anything that paid me in the third week. Uh, so I try to diversify based on payments, how I receive the money when I do retire. So that's something to consider. You don't. Some people diversify. Say I have five cents, five percent here, ten percent there. When every time people use diversity based on risk, I think of retirement plan. So if you have a retirement plan that's for twenty years long term, and you're not going to be able to withdraw until you turn sixty-five then yeah, you, you need to do all those, you, you need to add all those consideration. You need to have diversity based on region, based on assets, based on industry, you know, is it technology, uh, is it real estate, is it consumers, uh, or is it whatever it is, medical, what, whatever it is that you want to diversify based on, it makes sense because you're gonna own these things for a long, long time. Okay, we're going after high dividend income. When you're going after income, you're trying to generate income. That's all I'm doing, generate income. It's just like here. Uh, essentially, these three stocks, it's going to give me 2,300 dividends um, every month. So everything that I'm going to try to buy is essentially increase that. Okay, there's a couple ways to skin the cat. When I first start off, I got quarterly. I used to buy, I, I went after the quarterly. Uh, I went after everything that's high dividends. I'm not going to do that this time around, okay? Like I said, like I told you all before, I nuked my portfolio just for the YouTube purpose. So I just so I'm starting over again. So for this time go around, I'm only gonna buy monthly stocks, okay? Monthly paying stocks. So because one of the things that I was frustrated with the quarterly paying stocks, I was buying things that you know different month, but have different cylinders. So on August, for example, I would get paid, you know, a couple hundred dollars. Then in September, I get paid only fifty dollars. In October, I get paid a different amount. I get different amount every month. That's not a, you know, so I always look at it, how are you gonna receive the money at the very end? When I receive the money end, you wanna be a little more stable. You don't want one week to make more than the other week because what if you need that money to pay whatever, whether it's utility bills or, or rent or even just taking a girl out to go on a, a you know, cruise ship, but you want the money to be consistent. You don't want one week to be less and the other week pay a lot because you can find yourself stuck somewhere and you're like, oh honey, I can't really spend right now because I'm only gonna get paid $200 this week, but next week we're gonna get a couple thousand dollars. Well, that doesn't really make sense. That does not make sense at all. So I trying to be consistency here and that's kind of mirror your paycheck, you know? Your paycheck is pretty consistent. So I think your dividend pay should be consistent too. Okay, so what stocks out there that I can buy that have consistent payout? Well, okay, so I put some spreadsheet together and see if you all like it. Um, and we're going to run through it really quick here. And uh, if you like it, great. If you don't like it, uh, it's fine. 
uh, you know, everybody have their own opinions on things. Okay, so here's my Excel spreadsheet I put together. And uh, let me just get ready here. Okay, so uh, anything in red is, I'm, I'm probably not going to buy it. I own it one time, like Diane Shipping, I own it one time. Medical property, I own it. Uh, Nordics, uh, Suction Capital, they all pay quarterly. They're good stocks. I own it one time, but that was last time. This is the new portfolio that I'm creating. So, uh, and based purely based only on monthly payments. Okay. So, uh, I'm a residential. I didn't highlight anything because I probably end up buying it. I don't not, I do not like I'm a residential, but I'm a residential is a monthly stock that pays some, uh, pay good, uh, good amount of dividends. But right now it's not high. Okay. So anything in the blue here, uh, let me make it bigger so y'all can see it a little bit, uh, Yeah, so anything in the blue means I already own it, okay? Anything in the green is what I'm going to try to buy to increase, uh, to add more portfolio, add more volume in my portfolio, okay? Right now I only have three, all right? So here is my here is my top uh, company that I've been looking at, I've been researching, that I'm probably going to buy on Monday. So I have $1,000, and I'm probably going to spread them that $1,000 out and buy these ETF and stock. Okay, so there's a lot of monthly stocks out there and a lot of monthly ETF out there, but these are the one I like. Uh, the first one is SVOL, uh, and they pay you know it's a twenty-two dollar sh uh, share, and um, and it's paid monthly. So I like it a lot. OARK. Uh, the only reason I don't like OARK is that it's essentially it has a pay same pay same X date same. Same everything and similar to Tesla, except Tesla is a lot better stocks. So if you're gonna if you're gonna put money in OARK, might as well put money in Tesla. But however, I just put it in here because I probably end up owning it because just to add that um, another another dimension in it. OYLD because uh, it pays seventeen dollars. QYLD pays seventeen dollars. They both go after the index, so one go after Russell, the other one go after Nasdaq one hundreds. So that these are good stocks, uh, good paying. Uh, I'm sorry, ETF. I keep calling them stocks, but so these four right here, I probably own. If nothing else, I own three. So I already, I already have three, and then I probably own three more. So that will give a diversity in uh, in my uh, uh, portfolio. Now they all have different payments dates, and so within that month, I will have various David, uh, David, uh, payment dates. All right, the next one. Uh, we're going to take a look at this. So this one is Prospect Capital Corporation. Uh, it's $6.31. The only reason I like about this is that it pay the payout date is on the third week. And uh, so I track it here. Uh, it's very important for me to find out which what day it's pay because that's how you want to receive your income and you want to find out what you know what day it pays. So that's, that's the most important thing. Um, I don't know why Arbor, Arbor Realty Trust is on this list. It should be on a, uh, I, I, at least I screw up. So um, so that's why I put it red because I'm not going to buy it. But the other the other two, like Pembroke Realty Unit, San Juan, Basin Unit, I don't know if I'm going to buy these two. I, I like energy stocks, but it just, it just right now they're paying like literally pennies, pennies uh, on dividends. So, but I have it on green. That's something for me to think about on Monday. But definitely Prospect Capital, and then the last one is Dynac Capital Corp, uh, $12.92, and it's a pretty good stock, pay pretty good dividends. So those two, so Prospect Capital for sure, Dynac Capital uh, uh, is the number two. They both profitable company, and then plus uh, these three or four ETF. So that will increase the volume to my uh, portfolio for Monday. So uh, then, the fall, then the next time that I get paid, I will, I will try to look for some more stocks. So my game plan is this. Every time I get my dividends pay, I will take that dividends and pay, essentially increase my uh, 
clips and my bitos. So I got to get my bitto up. So so far I make two thousand dollars a month on Tesla, but I want to make a thousand dollars a month on Clip. I want to make a thousand a dollar a month on Bit uh, on ProShare Bitcoin, which is Bitto. All right. Then I'm going to throw some money in here. So these combined, these guys combined should get to be a thousand dollar also. That's you know essentially that's four thousand right there. And then these two combined, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not sure if I buy San Juan. I own San Juan like three four times already, so I don't need to own San Juan again. I've been I've been exploiting San Juan <laughs> long enough, but so own these two and these two maybe another two. Uh, a, a, there's a lot of good one out there also that's monthly. I just happen to do these uh, initial research and for for me to buy, and so maybe four more stock and those tally to be a thousand dollar a month. That's my five thousand dollars a month right there. That's those combined uh, all those effort. Uh, I really. I really like this. Uh, appro I'm going to try this approach uh, of uh, investment uh, just to get in, uh, in, uh, income. So uh, instead of throwing all your money into Tesla, now you can throw your money into various stocks and try to grow up to a thousand. So just like I said again, once more time, uh, these three or these four combined would make one thousand. So not one thousand each, but we could have been two hundred each. 200 each, you know, and 300 or whatever the amount left uh, to make 1,000. So that's that's how I approach it this time around. So uh, yeah, take a look at Monday. So that means I'm going to be talking a lot more when I make video. I'm going to talk more about Prospect Capital, Dynamic Capitals, and all these other guys, especially S Vault. Um, just you know, all these other ones. The other one that I can replace S Vault with is CLM Cornerstone. There's a lot of people want me to buy Cornerstone. So because Cornerstone is cheap, uh, that's something I'm thinking about. Maybe I should go in after Cornerstone and get that um, to get that monthly uh, income. Okay, so with that, I, I think uh, I, I'm just this is just initial volley here. So uh, I think I'm good. Yeah. So I'll see you guys on Sunday uh, at 7 p.m. So and uh, so we do live live stream Sunday and Thursday. 7 p.m. and then uh, and then on Monday I should buy these guys here for uh, you know split up between a thousand dollar and then we can make more video talk about these things and then and then throughout throughout this whole quarter I'm gonna take a look and buy some other shares so I don't know how many great monthly stocks out there but we're gonna take a look all of them there's only like 30 of some of them there's only 30 it's not that many so we're gonna look take a look at most of them and then and see if we something that's worthy to put into our portfolio. Okay, with that, hey, thank you all for watching. Uh, please take care and have a good week and have a safe weekend, everyone. Peace out.